I'm surprised these crucifix. Oh, I was gonna say I'm surprised these crucifixes haven't been eaten. Um, one of them has been eaten. Okay, two of them have been eaten. Hello, I've not done an asylum on my channel for quite a long time, so I thought let's do an asylum today. But I'm gonna do it with a twist. I'm not gonna use any portable light source. I'm only going to be using the building lights. Paul Jackson, motion smudge crucifix. So where is the breaker? Because the tricky part is going to be the first part. Ah, it's down in the center. Okay. So I'm going to have to try and get to the breaker in total darkness. That's going to be fun. All right. Let's go, Paul. In the meantime, I'm hoping to hear a door. That's what normally happens when you play Asylum. Cool. Stairs are this way. Straight ahead. Should be on the left in a second. Round here. Head a door. Lovely. Just what I was looking for. A lot of people have been asking me for tips for Asylum lately. Especially, um with a lot of people feeling daring enough to try solo. So the biggest tip I have for Asylum is use your eyes and ears. You will always find an open door on Asylum. Without a doubt, because the ghosts don't have much to interact with on this map at all. There aren't many interactable objects, stuff like that. I'm very near the room. It's just around this corner. There's a little bit that sticks out here. Yes, and then left, and then it's the first room here. Nice. Boom. So I think that door that I heard was upstairs. I want to say along that long corridor. I believe. Hmm. Am I where I think I am? I think I I think I know where I am. Just about. Took a little detour. <laughs> I think I'm approaching the staircase again. Should be here. Yeah. Good. Let me go back to reception. What I'm going to do... I'm going to get some lights on for this long corridor. And I will search the corridor first. I heard the door again. Lovely. Very nice of you, Paul. Making your presence known. In fact, I don't need them lights anymore. Let's head back to reception. So I can go this way as well. There's a door here. Um, if you hug this wall right. And straight ahead. Head an item. Hmm. You're a busy ghost, aren't you? Another door. Wowee. Got an active one. Makes it easier. The good thing about Asylum is that noises carry. There is such an echo. They do carry across the whole map. Right, I'm going to get the right hallway lights on. Don't want to turn on too many lights because we don't want to blow the power. Yeah, the thing that could make this um, challenge difficult is if the ghost does the breaker a lot. Which could be out of my control, so we'll see what happens. Hmm. That could make things interesting. I might leave this light on. Yeah, why not? Might need to come back here in case there's a hunt or something. Right. Off we go. Um, let me open you fully. Hang on. Aha. Which side's the door? Now I can't see. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no lights on. What's going on? Hmm. What's going on? Aha! I've done a loop. I'm back at reception. Cool. So what I need to do, I need to head this way. And turn right here. There's the lights. Lovely. Yeah, they're a bit further down the um, right hallway lights. The lights that are kind of central control the area that's around reception where I just was. So that area is still going to be in the dark, but I don't want to turn those lights on because I don't want to blow the power. 
I do want to play it safe. It's still pretty dark around this part. Ah! Well, that's the ghost room. Look. The light's on. Lovely. Door's wide open as well. Oh, that's a wonderful room for the crucifix objective. See, there's been some disturbances. You're a mucky pup, aren't you? Right. Wait a minute. Hello. You're singing. It must have been around the corner. Are you friendly? Of course. Just what I expected, as always. Right, so it's not freezing. I've got spirit box. I've got a footstep. Lots of stuff thrown around. Cool. Let's go get some equipment. EMF 2. Leave you there. The EMF reader is going to be my saving grace as well. That's EMF 2 because he did the door again. Because the EMF now fluctuates if it's hunting. It will fluctuate between EMF 1 and 4 normally. Oh, it's got louder. EMF 4? Or, or 3, maybe he threw an item? I didn't hear an item though. EMF 4 could be um, a tabnid manifestation. I don't think that was loud enough to be 5. I don't think. Let me turn this off. I'm really paranoid about blowing the power. If Paul does my breaker, I'm going to have to go all the way back. That could be tricky later on, if I reach hunting territory. Might be a little bit tricky. We'll see. Right. Paul. I've got spirit box. So, motion, smudge and crucifix. Yeah. So, let's do... Hmm, let's take the book. Let's take a camera. And we'll look for fingerprints, because he's touched so many doors. And the light switch. Got a very active one. Let's head. Hmm, we'll head this way. You know what, I am going to leave this on. I think... I don't have many light switches on, I think I'm good. In before the breaker goes. That's some loud EMF. That could be five. Hmm, could be five. I'm not going to make it on time. Paul, if that's EMF 5, please be lovely and keep it there for me. It's gone. Bollocks. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back. He's very active. I'm getting Oni vibes or something very active like that. We'll see. Let's see if there's fingerprints first. Maybe it's another crazy spirit, like, um, like my previous video. No, no fingerprints. No fingerprints. Could be an Oni, after all. Hmm. Okay, right. Write in my book, please. If you're an Oni, you'd give me um, EMF and writing. Could be a Jin. They're very territorial. Done the light switch. That would be ghost orbs and EMF. Oh. Oh. Calm down. I know you're very protective over your door. Again. Again. Calm down, matey. Hello. Bloody hell. Calm down. Don't get too angry. That's EMF 5 anyway. Cool. So I need ghost orbs or writing. Gin or Oni. Let me go look for orbs. In the meantime, let's do this. Boom. Mm, why is that so dark? That's better. Leave my door alone. He's going to cause issues, isn't he? Okay, so I should be... Ah! I was going to say I should be able to see writing from the camera, but no need. He's been ever so kind and written in the book. How's he written in the book without knocking it over, is my question. Very delicately balanced. Must have been a very fine touch. Do you mind, matey? You're aggressive. Calm down. Right. Gonna bring, um... Let's leave the EMF. Yep. Let's head back to the truck. I need to do the optionals. I have to say, prevent a hunt? I could probably do that soon. I guess my sanity is pooped. From all these manifestations and ghost events. 
Could probably have a hunt sooner than I think. This dude's crazy. Bloody hell, Paul. Bit of a rubbish ghost room, isn't it? It's kind of poltergeist heaven, though. Lots of items to throw. Wonder how he died in that room. Right. So it was smudge. Was it motion and crucifix? Yeah, my sanity is terrible because sanity drain on Asylum is normally very slow, especially playing solo. Your sanity drain is halved. So that's terrible <laughs> for the amount of time that I've been here. It's all the ghost events. Just going to poop the sanity completely. I might do... Um, let me take two crucifixes and a motion. I think I need the crucifixes in there ASAP to protect myself. This dude's crazy. Then what I'm going to do... I'll put the protection in the room. I'll put in the motion. Hopefully tick them off. Come and get some smudge sticks. Get a lighter. Get a photo camera. Boom. Jobs are good and sounds like a plan. What could go wrong? Mm, the breaker going off. Paul trying to brutally murder me. Mm. We'll get to that when that happens. If that happens. Please don't kill me. Lovely. Right, you do your job. I bought the premium crucifixes today. I've not skimped on them. Not from Poundland anymore. Put you about there. That should cover the whole area. Right. Motion's in the room. I'm expecting that to ping very soon. Because he's a busybody. He's a busy chap. Get the photo camera. Oh the door. Might be able to get some interaction photos with the door. Get um, a photo of the writing. Maybe a photo of the lovely chap himself. Because he loves to show himself so far. See if he goes camera shy. Want to bring the camera? Very, very lucky that he's not done my breaker so far. Because I've done this challenge in the past and they've done nothing but blow the breaker, which has been annoying. Okay, done the motion. Prevent a hunt will happen fairly soon. Relatively soon. Especially if I get another ghost event. I'm not going to smudge until the last possible moment. Because if I smudge, they're not even going to try and hunt me anyway for, for like a minute and a half. So I need to tick off the crucifix objective first, ideally. Right, I've got five photos. Should be enough. Depends how many um, interactions or manifestations he gives us. Or gives me, should I say. <laughs> Playing solo. Bloody hell, he's... Busy, this dude. I'm on my way, Paul. I'm coming. I'm coming. Right. Oh, has he done the door? You don't like this door open, do you? Well, hey. Nice. Let's go, Paul. Let's dance. Show yourself. Can you give me a sign? Paul? Can you give me a sign? Can you show yourself? Paul, show yourself. Wait, interaction, just thought. Let's see how many interaction photos I can get. I've got three more photos on my camera. I have to say, tricky photo. I mean, tricky room, sorry, to get a photo of the ghosts because um, as you approach them, once you get into their hitbox, that they normally disappear. So this is a very small room. I might not be able to get the ghost photo. Are you joking? Paul, you're crazy. Interaction again, I missed it. It's this room, the kitchen. He's clipped through the wall, I believe. 
You crazy, crazy man. <laughs> Stay in your ghost room. <laughs> oh, he's locked me in here. Wow. You're mental. Can you give me a sign, please? Can you show yourself? Let's try and um, use up my two photos. Then I'm going to smudge. And then I'll probably leave it there because I imagine I've prevented a hunt. Or I'm very close to preventing a hunt. Paul, can you give me a sign? Give me a sign. Are you here? Can you give me a sign? Are you here? Aha, there we go. EMF 4. Are you trying to manifest? Come on, Paul. Paulie, Paulie. Give me a sign. Show yourself. Let's try and get these two more photos. We can do it. Hey! Ooh, that coincidentally happened when I turned the light off. Do you like the darkness? <laughs> Let's see if he's more active. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Can you give me a sign, Paul? I mean, that's a sign. Cheers. I'll take it. I can't take a photo of that hissing, though. Please show yourself. Show yourself. Ooh. <laughs> Another interaction. Cool. I'm surprised these crucifix... Oh. I was going to say, I'm surprised these crucifixes haven't been eaten. Um, one of them has been eaten. Okay, two of them have been eaten. Right. Smudge. You absolute madman. You're crazy. Right. You're smudged. You ain't killing me now. Do you want to give me a last photo? Please. Can you give me a sign? One more photo opportunity. Then I'm out of here. I've got 90 seconds before he kills me. Probably about 80 at this point. After smudging. Can you give me a sign, please? Give me a sign, Paul. Come on. One last photo. Give me a sign. Can you give me a sign? Paul, show yourself. Bollocks. Time to leave. He's done my breaker. That's going to be too risky if there's a hunt. <laughs> That's my cue to dash. <laughs> Screw the last photo. I'll take a selfie in the truck on the way out. Can I make it before I get hunted? Just thinking how long's left on my smudgies. Okay, don't get lost now. Cool, I know where I am. Hug the right wall. Reception straight ahead. I think I can make this before the hunt. Emphasis on think. I should have brought my EMF reader. EMF is an amazing way to know now if there's a hunt. I mean, I'm so close to the door that I'll hear it close up in my face. Ooh, I made it. I think I was cutting it quite close near the end. Hmm, what's picture worthy in the truck? What's picture worthy? You'll do. Not looking very photogenic, but never mind. Right, Paul Jackson. You were a little bit crazy, I won't lie. Ooh, that's quite a creepy photo, actually. <laughs> right. Get only in the journal, before I forget. And job's a good un. See ya, Paul. I'll catch you next time. There you go. Asylum with no portable lights. Just building lights only. 295. Decent. Never found the bone, but that's quite hard on Asylum, to be honest. Photos got 20 out of potentially 40. There is an RNG mechanic behind that at the moment. 
so you can't always guarantee getting 40, which is a shame. I would like it if they did do a system where you kind of got maybe rewarded for better photos, maybe if like, for example, ghost photos, if the ghost took up more pixels on the camera screen, for example, a better quality photo, and you'd get um, rewarded more money, that could be cool. Because at the moment, with it just being purely RNG, um, it's not fun, I suppose, if you get loads of good photos and you don't really get rewarded for it. It's like why they removed Dirty Water as an objective, because that was just RNG based, and I guess that's not very fun from an objective standpoint. But there you go anyway, Paul Jackson, the crazy Oni. Good stuff. Alright guys, cheers for watching, as always, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time.